All right, what's up? Coming to you guys with the striker build. This has been done for a while, but let me get into it. It's fully optimized. Max armor, 2003 armor. Um, it is max stam, 1401 stam, 9 skill haze, 16.6k health, 56% 50, ammo capacity. And it has a 265 3% skill haze mod and a 265 stamina 3% skill haze mod. Uh, striker mask, 1000 armor, 1401 firearms, 4% credit chance, 17 burn resistance, 265 3% skill haste mod, well 265 stamina rather. Uh, knee pad 1668, 1401 firearms, 16.6k health, 33 shock, burn, and bleed. Uh, 262 firearms, 3% skill haste mod with a 6% first aid heal slotted. Uh, 1334 armor on the backpack, 1401 stam, 13.3k health, 56% ammo capacity. It has a 266 stamina, 2998 health mod, and two 6% first aid self heal mods. Uh, gloves, 1001 armor, 1401 firearms, 12% SMG, 6% crit hit chance, 9% skill haste. Uh, holster, 1001 armor. 1401 rolls all across the board 7% skill haste uh, as for striker the bonus um, 2% uh, well the 2 bonus rather is 20% stability 3 is 10% armor, enemy armor damage 4 is landing consecutive shots build your bonus mission shots takes your bonus down um, 5 set bonus is 10% more stability and 5% more enemy armor damage and six is every hit adds a self-healing bonus for 0.2% of max health per second. This bonus is increased by 0.5% for every 3,000 stam. Uh, stacks up to 100 hits. Missing shots drops the bonus by one stack, and the bonus is reduced by two stacks every second, whether you miss or not. Um, so some people prefer to do nine stam. I prefer six, so I can have a little bit more damage. Um... Talents on my house, as you can see, is 21.1, 23% credit chance, is deadly unforgiving, card counter, LVOA, 24% enemy armor damage, 18.5 damage, unforgiving, deadly competent, and competent isn't a problem for me because I have plenty of skill haste. Uh, DPS 362, firearm 6.8k, toughness 529k, stam 6.4k, skill power 88.8k, electronics 2.9k, let's check the character stats. Uh, credit chance 42.0%. Um, press precision, so when I pulse, you know, I'm, I'm doing pretty good on credit chance. Credit damage 97%, not exactly the highest, but striker, you won't have a problem killing people and melting them. Uh, enemy armor damage 15%, 47 threat. Skill haste 37%. Anybody that knows me knows I don't run a build without skill haste. So. Get used to seeing that shit if you aren't already. Uh, toughness, 529k. We said that. Max health, 352k. Uh, toughness. I mean health, rather. 352k. Uh, 2k. Armor mitigates 33.5, which is the max armor mitigation. Health regen is 17.6k. All that's null and void. Uh, the, 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 my booster shot comes back every 32.3 seconds. It heals for 48.6k not really that much of a heal but the damage increase it'll be fine especially if i have stacks uh my immune box cooldown is 23.2 seconds uh and let's see i got my shit in italian so that guy sounded weird uh my recovery link the base cooldown is 810 seconds with the 37 percent skill haste and my little bit of skill power it becomes 485 seconds um and let's see character talents right uh i run crit save strike back precision just to pulse them on the head you can switch out combat medic for on the move or some people do one is none i've never used one is none because i i don't know just don't waste my time with it and I always leave this fourth talent as combat medic because when you get in a team and you pop a medic and you realize you don't have combat medic, I mean, I don't know. On the move, I know it's, it says it gives you extra tankiness, but it just doesn't seem like it. Just the toughness goes up. Your max health doesn't go up. Your stamina doesn't go up. So I don't really know what on the move really does. So 
uh, same with crit save, but crit save you just put it on just because. Uh, but yeah, that's the striker build. <sighs> like, subscribe, comment, hate, whatever. Just want to do a build. Alright, I'm gone.